I believe I found a unicorn. We have here a 1995 Toyota Camry. Check this out with 93,000 miles on it. If you guys don't believe me, let me show you right now. All right, let's see. There it is, 93,000 miles on it. So just by looking at this sticker, the last oil change was back in 2019. Jesus, that was right before the pandemic. But anyways, so here's the center console. These cars always come with filth, but honestly, that's nothing new coming from uh, these auctions. You will never know what you will get until you own it. Because technically speaking, whatever comes in the car, you technically own. So here's the quick look of the seat. Not too bad for a car of this age. Panels, passenger side, interior. Now let me show you the back side. I'm not really a big fan of the brown interior, but it would do. I know in video it looks kind of like grayish, but it's actually brown. But hey, these panels are actually clean. This tells me the owner was an old, old, old lady. But shout out to her. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with these cameras. I had one of 96 and that one reached 230,000 miles. So this engine, man, this engine got a long way to go. Speaking of engines, let me show the engine bay real quick. For the age of the car, it doesn't look that dirty. I don't really see no oil stains. The gasket looks clean between the head and the block. I would do the basic tune up, replace the spark plugs, change the oil. I'm also gonna replace the coolant. I was told for every 100,000 you should change it, so I'm gonna do that, you know, and a basic cleanup. So I see you guys at the cleaning process. To make this job so much easier, I will be removing the driver and passenger seat out of the car, so I will have full access to the carpet. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt and debris that gotta be removed. Let me show you the center console. All of this gotta be clean deep clean you can see the little bit of dust all over the seat covers need clean so let me get started Now that I have the carpets done, now I'm gonna move to the seats. All right, so one of the ways that I clean car seats are these two products right there. Number one, which is the vacuum. This vacuum is your typical vacuum, nothing fancy. It just sucks up debris and, you know, just goes from there. The second, which you see right here, it is a water vacuum. Pretty much what it is, it sprays water into any fabric and sucks it back into the machine. So that pretty much removes any like dirt, debris, stains, and so on. So you guys get the memo. You see all this stain, hair, debris, all of that gotta be clean. You know, how people treat their cars, I can imagine their living situation. Cause if this car was filthy, man, I can imagine their house. But yeah, all this dust, debris, pet hair, animal hair, all of this gotta go. This looks like someone's gray hair. Shout out to the granny that lost his vehicle. Why she lost it? Honestly, you would never know. But let's get started. Nice. This is what I like to see. Nice and clean. No more dirt, no more debris. Now, my final step is to add this polish. This polish pretty much gonna protect my dash for the sun and I'll be using my microfiber towel 
with this spray all around the dash make it look all nice and sparkle after that i'll be moving to the exterior of the vehicle <laughs> Alright, now that the interior of the car is all done, now I'll be doing the tune-up. So first, I will be changing uh, the spark plugs, then uh, the struts, as you can see there. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, those struts gotta go. And I'll be also changing the oil. So, before I even start, let me show you how the engine sounds. Not too sure if you noticed, but there was a slight delay. So I'm gonna move forward with the spark plugs and also I'm gonna be changing the wire harness for the spark plugs as well. I forgot to mention that. I was able to remove the harness. Now, I move these out the way and then I will have access to the damn spark plugs. We just leave that right there. Where's my socket? Got my socket right here. Boom. Beating pow, click, extendo, and extract. Ooh. And for the next one, the third one, and the last and final one. Out with the old and in with the new. Before I even put the spark plugs in, I highly recommend everyone, if they want to change their own spark plugs, look at the gap size because that is very important every manufacturer have their own gap size requirements for this camry this year this engine it is 0 0.043 so note to self now let's start with the first one mm. snap insert snap insert and twist click snap insert and twist i was able to remove the old one this took longer than i thought so those uh wires are actually in there pretty good so i'm gonna do this off cameras and i'm gonna show you the results when i'm done so i was able to remove the old structs with the new one off camera uh just because i run out of space on my phone but you know when you have an iphone you get that notification boop right there in the middle of your screen no more space please upgrade or buy the new iphone yada 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 but here's the new structs it's holding on pretty well the new harness the spark plugs obviously you can see them but that's good to go now is the oil let's get started oh yeah that is dark dark so far so good i already replaced the oil now i would just be cleaning the engine bay make it look all nice because all this dirt yeah that gotta go i also had to get a new battery because the old one was shot so got that cover but yeah so pretty much this camry will be replacing my honda civic as of right now, my Honda Civic runs and drives. When you start driving your car, you start to realize, yeah, the trend is going out. So, whenever that day comes, I will always have a replacement. I'm a strong believer of having two of everything, two debit cars, two credit cars, two cars, and etc. Why? Because you will never know if the main one is going to stop working out of nowhere. So, I'm a strong believer on that. So whenever that day comes, replace this with the Civic. And I also, I'm working on this 1998 Camry. Stay tuned because a video is coming soon.